Joe Smoker Management on Oklahoma Joe's Bronco. If you want to know more on how to maintain your Bronco, then stick around and see how it gets done. I have the basket set up already. I'm using lump charcoal, B and B. You can use lump or you can use briquettes. It's your choice, but this is how I have it set it up. If you want, you can you know add a little more if you want, but I'm good with this. And the way I'm gonna start it is I'm gonna use Weber Cube. If you haven't seen these before, there's other ways that you can light it up. If you want to use a chimney starter, you can use that. You know, pour in some briquettes or some lump. You know, not all the way, just enough to where you you know you can get some right here, like in the middle. You know, not a lot. Or if you have a flamethrower, you can light it up that way too. I've seen it that way. But this is how I'm going to go. And the way I'm going to light it up is I'm going to light it up in the middle. But if you want long burning, always best to light it up right there. And then it'll start burning slowly all around. But for right now, I'm going in the middle. All right, I got it in the middle. So I'm going to light it up. So I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it go, cause I like it to where it gets wide over, you know, hot ashed over, in the middle like a circle, and then I put it in the bronco. Or if I'm gonna, if I light it up on the side, I wait for the same thing where it gets all ashy, all white. That's when it's lit. But if you want, you can light it up and then put it in the bronco and let it start off in there. But me, I like to leave it out here exposed. You know get all the oxygen it needs to get going but just wait and then i'll, I'll bring you back all right well, i like what i see right here you can see it's hatched over in the middle and some other parts is getting lit up so it's time to put it in the bronco get my hook right in there we got that and the fuser plate I'm going to be using that as well so just like that the fuser plate's in close it important open the top back all the way open all the way now here the side intake I'm gonna leave it right now at a two. Now, even though it has the numbers, you know, you can rely on the numbers, but that's just to give you an idea of where you can set it at to get your temp going, but you could always adjust it to however you need it, need it there, you know, wide open, close on what temp you want it. But for right now, I'm gonna get it right there. Just to get it, help it get to the temp what I want. And for right now, I'm gonna shoot for 275. So that's the number gonna be, and I'm gonna be using the temp gauge that came with it. So let's see how long it takes to get there, and I'll bring it back. All right, it's getting close to 275. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get it back to the one like that, because I don't want it to keep rising and rising, you know. So I gotta cut off some air to it. And that's my whole point of having it like at the two starting off. And then once I'm getting close to my temp that I want, I start to cut back on the oxygen to it. But, you know, when you put the basket in, you can have it up at number at number four if you want all the way open and let it get in. But it took me about 10 minutes to get to where I'm at right now. So I'm just cutting it off right now, the air to it. And then keep it around that 275 and all the way open still keep that open so I'll bring you back I right, stayed at that temp right there so it's not quite 275 so that means if I want it there let's open it up more 
and then uh, we'll let it go. And, but you can see how great this Bronco is that once you set the intake right there to where you want it at, it's going to stay at that temp. So this is, wow, oh, man, this is a machine right here. But let's uh, wait and see, wait until it gets up to temp and then I, you know, keep bringing you back. This is what it is, management right here. Just above 275 at the one. So I'm just gonna cut it back just a little bit. So we're gonna leave it at that and see if it moves up anymore. And if it does, I'll adjust it a little more to close it off. But we'll see if we keep it around that temp right there. And, you know, go from there. And at this point, whenever you got it set, you put your meat on. So let's continue on. Still at the one. You can see it's going above 275. So I'm just going to cut back. And I will say this, on my Bronco, I don't know if it's with everyone else's Bronco, but the lump will burn, obviously is gonna burn harder than the briquettes. I use uh, Kingsford briquettes in here and B&B &B briquettes, but with the lump, it's gonna burn hotter. So uh, I always tend to have to adjust a little more on that, but with the briquettes, briquettes work great in here. Not trying to say the lump doesn't, lump does, but for piquettes, a lot easier to manage. So, but then you can tell it's not a way above 275. And cut it back a little more. So after that, uh, we'll wait and bring it back. At 275. So that's where it's at. We're having, and then smoke stack all the way open. So it's all about knowing your smoker oh, I had this for a while now so I understand how it works I understand what it does when I use briquettes when I use lump which brand I use so that comes into play on management on this drum smoker right here so you know take that in consideration so I have it there that's where I have it at so I'm gonna wait see if it goes any lower than that or what and then uh We'll go from there, but that was my number 275, so we'll see if it goes below that. But if not, always remember, you don't have to have it on that number that you want because it's like if you're playing with fire, you know, on a smoker, it's going to be, temps are going to go up and down, you know. So it's kind of the same thing with here, and especially with the lump, you know, it's wood, so it's going to be burning. So kind of take that in, in your mind too as well. So... Send that 275 and uh, we'll wait and see and go from there. Uh, every time you open up to check your food, you know, you're giving oxygen, air to your heat. So my lump here is breathing in now all this air. So it's going to catch even more. So, you know, you leave it open for a minute, two minutes. because You're checking your food, you know, you're chatting with your people and then finally you close it well what you've done is you've made you know air go into there so now your fire is going to go up so when that happens if you notice that it doesn't go back to the temp that you had it on just go and make your adjustments again move it around and get it back to the temp that you need it on There it is, that 275 still. Most stack wide open. Now I'll say this, is that if you are having trouble keeping your uh, temp, especially like if you wanna keep it low, like say you wanna go 272 to 25, but you're having issues and you're like almost you know closed off on on there you know i'm gonna close it off well you can always go up top and start closing off the smokestack you know 
not all the way, but if you need it to go down more, the temp, use that. But if you can avoid it, you know, always keep that open wide open, keep it wide open. That's going to help bring in oxygen to air the draft and come right out. So you see it's old and pretty good, you know. That lump works good in there, but like I said, for my Bronco, sometimes I will have to make some minor adjustments. But once I do that, it gets locked in. So it's pretty good at 275. But hopefully this uh, give you an idea, helped you out on management of your Bronco, especially if you barely purchased it. You know, it's a new smoker. Can get a, you know, aggravating at times just trying to get where you want. I read a lot of comments, people's YouTube or on their Facebook pages of Oklahoma Broncos. So I feel you understand I was there at one point, you know, but practice, keep using it, keep cooking your meat, you'll get it down, you'll get it down. You know, me personally, I love smoking at 250. But I wanted to go at 275 for this one. So, remember, always adjust there first. And if you need to, adjust up there. But if not, keep that wide open. And then, baffle plate. And there it is. The Bronco.